Logitech webcam or Fifine webcam. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on that bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. So Logitech, a very well-known brand. Fifine, a brand maybe you really don't know. If you are new to getting a webcam or you aren't sure what webcam to get, which one should you get? Well, let's first talk about this Logitech. When I first purchased it, it was well before COVID, so it was about $30. However, nowadays, when you look up Logitech webcams, they're anything between $50 to $200. And so is it really worth paying for the name brand? Well, one thing I really do like is that it does have an app where I can adjust the color temperature, white balance, give myself some more skin tone, and adjust the focusing. However, I really don't feel like I ever get in super sharp focus. No matter what I do, it just always seems a little soft. But other than that, I like the, the wide angle of the lens. I like how um, durable it feels and that it's a little bit tight when you're turning it to really make it sit in the correct position. I like that and I like how it sits on my desktop. However, this Fifine at the time of this recording is only $36 and does a tremendous job. It does not have an app like the Logitech does. So you can't adjust your, your color temperature. You can't give yourself more skin tone, but I do feel that it gives me a more crisp image and I look more in focus and I stay in focus. I can move slightly uh, toward or back from the camera and it's gonna keep me in focus when the Logitech would sometimes get me out of focus and stay out of focus for a little too long. This also has an extremely wide angle, which can be a pro or a con, depending on what you're using this for. For myself, it was a little bit of a con because I had to use OBS to actually crop what I want my framing to be, so then that way it's correct on my Zoom calls. For other people though, it could be a really great benefit for how wide this camera is. And it's also a little loosey-goosey for me. Once again, it's kind of more of a personal preference that I don't like how loose it is with just one hand, but for other people, it can be really convenient that they don't need to really use two hands to get the camera in perfect position. They can just quickly use one hand or even one finger to make it happen. So even though I had this Logitech first, I'm using the Fifine now. I like it more. It's a better image. And so if you're more worried about the image of how you look versus having the custom features of the app, you really may want to consider getting a Fifine web camera. No matter what you pick, I hope that you have successful video conferences and create successful videos with your webcams. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Till next week, stay engaging.